with the top side of the case. And it came from this corner, so we're guessing. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile Reviews A. .ca. Hey, it's Aaron from MobileReviews8.ca and today we're going to do the water resistance test for the Pelican Vault CE 1180. Now this case isn't waterproof at all. Pelican says it's water resistant, it's not waterproof. So we're going to do a couple of tests today to see kind of how water resistant it is. The first test that we're going to do is kind of a submersion test. I know it's not waterproof, but we figure we'll see how quickly the case fills up with water. And then the next test we'll do is kind of a simulated rain test. We'll sprinkle some water on top of it and we'll see how well it uh, holds up. There are a couple of waterproof features to the case. The bottom of the case uh, for all the ports, the ports are kind of, they've got these nubs that, plastic nubs that fill in the port holes and the speakers have a, kind of a mesh to them, a waterproof mesh that a lot of these cases have. So we're kind of curious to know how waterproof the bottom is and how waterproof the top is. Now if you were to put this case face down and sprinkle water on top of it, we do believe that it would keep the majority of the water out given that the back panel is a solid piece. So all in all we think this is a pretty water resistant case but we're about to find out. All right guys, so we've got our Pelican CE 1180 and we've got our pseudo test unit into it. So we're going to dip it into this little tub of water and we're going to watch how quickly the tissue gets wet. So. It's been about 15 seconds and you can tell down here that the case is taken in water though it doesn't seem like it's taken in water too quickly, so we're venturing a guess if you toss this into the toilet bowl and pulled it out immediately that probably wouldn't get a lot of water into the case. So that's the bottom part of the case, the one that has all the plugs and all the meshes in it. We're going to flip it around and we're going to try the top part of the case and we're going to see how quickly that part gets wet. One of the things that we will mention is that the case, the back side of the case actually isn't wet so there's no water that got in from the bottom here so it looks like all the water seeped in from the top of the case so between the seal um, well this little raised edge and the front panels we've reinstalled everything fresh piece of, piece of tissue and we're going to dip it in uh, from the top side of the phone and we're just going to watch how quickly the water goes into the case it's definitely moving quicker with the top side of the case and it came from this corner so we're guessing it's most likely one of those buttons that's not completely sealed but again this case isn't waterproof so this isn't a surprise to us so we've got a bigger piece of facial tissue inside the pelican ce 1180 and we're going to do a full frontal shower or rain test against it so we're gonna you know use the sink and we're gonna splash water on top of it and see how long it takes to get the case, well, to have the water kind of soak through the front of the case. We've got the case down here, and we've got our rain source. So what I can tell is that, well, top part soaked in pretty quickly, looks like the sitting water gets underneath the case and will get in. So, well, the torrential rain test that we just did, we will say that this phone probably wouldn't survive. So we have installed a fresh piece of facial tissue and we're going to do the waterproofing test or water resistant test for the back of the case. So, not too bad. Definitely water's getting in. Seems like the weakest portion of the case is actually the gap between the front of the case and the back of the case. But spraying the solid piece um, with water seems to, uh, you know, keep water out. So guys, that is the water resistance. Ooh, nothing. It's so dry. So our conclusion is that this case is not waterproof, but that's what Pelican says anyways. In terms of water resistance, 
Well, it seems a little water resistant. So certain parts of it, if you were to drop it in a toilet bowl or in the ocean, you would snap it up immediately. You'd probably be able to salvage your phone, but left submerged for more than, you know, three, four seconds, your phone's hooped. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Find us on Google Plus, Facebook, as well as Twitter. Uh, we've got a website called bullbuyreviews8.ca where you'll find the full reviews for these cases. Uh, I'm Aaron the Ho. Thank you for watching and try not to go swimming with this case.